hello hello and welcome to another video so of course of course we're starting the day off with some self-care i decided to give myself actually a paraffin wax with a pedicure today so that's how we're gonna start the day off Amazon truck. <laughs> That's an enterprise truck. waiting on this spin bike to come in for a while now and it's finally arrived and I'm excited about it baby this home is giving it's giving everything you need is here at the table okay <laughs> it's giving everything you need is here so I'm just moving the sofa over my husband put the bike together and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it right here in this space and it looked perfect to me okay I don't I will say what you think but baby I like it okay peppers for a while i know you usually do it with ground meat but i decided to use beans instead and these were delicious as well
picture of it. I don't know what is it. Oh, there you go. 9.25 a.m. Yes, I'm already getting up and eating my breakfast, but I'm about to get up and go do some more because I'm being lazy right now. I'm Wow! My lips is beautiful! Mm hmm My lips looks beautiful? I know. Okay, I can kind of see the blue. Huh? I can see the blue. See? This blue mini mouse. <laughs> okay. This this. Put it back on, turn, and open! See? This is how to do it. Like mommy? Yeah. So everyone is down for the night, and I am going to take this time to ride the bike, honey. I am tired at this point. I'm tired, but hey. 30 minutes is 30 minutes. That's how I'm looking at it. Like 30 minutes, baby, is just 30 minutes out of your life. You have 24 hours of the day. What is 30 minutes for better health? So I'm just going to turn my little watch on, girl, and get to going. Yes, it's tired. I don't know. I don't do any crazy routine. Like, I don't have, like, someone that I'm watching on YouTube. I'm just making it my own thing, girl, based off how long I can pedal, okay? yes i know you said girl wasn't 30 minutes enough on the bike no it wasn't so when i got down i was actually more energized than i was when i started working out so i started doing this little dance i don't know i can't dance i'm just i just do movements okay that's what i do got my music on and baby the music was getting it so i was getting it with the music and i decided to finish off with some push-ups <laughs> So I'm not sure how many times Kennedy is going to wear this shirt in this video, but she kept putting it on and it was clean. So, girl, wear it. If you want to wear this shirt every day of the week, that's your business. So, we have to do this hair, baby. This hair is a month old. These braids last, eh, I would say forever, but they are looking pretty bad right now. So, I'm going to take them out. The worst part about doing hair is literally taking it down, honestly. Some people get worried about rubber bands. I want to show you, this is how I take it off. I hold the bottom like very taut and pop the rubber band and then slide it right off. And her hair is not broken off at the end at all. Now she asked me to put rolls in her hair. I did not think at all this was gonna work, but I just decided to amuse her and put the rolls in her head. I let her keep them in all day and she woke up the next morning and baby her hair was so tangled. So I just decided to go ahead and do my normal braid style. But I did let her wear this for a little while because I didn't want to like, I don't like to make her think that her hair is not pretty. It is pretty. Um, and if she, girl, she looked in the mirror and she said, oh, I look, so, she was so excited. So I said, girl, let the girl be excited wear her hair all over the place um and when i say all over the place i mean because this is going to tangle and it tangled bad okay bad okay. here it is is my lunch slash dinner that my husband made it was absolutely delicious the noodles <laughs> baby chef's kiss chef's kiss So now I know why they have you blow dry your hair before you get your hair braided. Because when I tell you it was like 10 times easier to braid her hair once it was all blowing out. She doesn't like the blow dryer though. She asked for the blow dryer yesterday and I said no. So this morning she was okay with me blow drying it and it worked out beautifully.
So you head this way, Kenny, so I can see your corn roll. Girl, look at that. Me yeah, learn how to corn roll. Beautiful. Okay, all right. It turned out all right. It's, it's cute or whatever. So here is lunch I'm preparing after I did her here. I have been wanting to make these tacos for quite some time. It's just fish tacos. Little something, something I threw together. They were absolutely divine. Girl, it's 8.31, and when I tell you I stayed in bed until about 4.30, 5 o'clock, okay? You saw when I walked in the front room, um, it was all dark in here because it was late, okay? It was late. Um, so, I'm actually going to stay up and get some things done. I want to clean up real good. Kennedy was playing in the kitchen and stuff over there, so things are kind of all over the place. Tomorrow um, is my husband's first day at work, and... Kennedy and I have already been at school, as you guys know, so we do have class tomorrow. We did not have class today, even though it's Monday. Um, my son has orientation tomorrow. Orientation. I'm a high schooler. So I'm going to get in here do some Bible study before I get to cleaning up. I need to cut up some fruits and vegetables and stuff like that for myself on tomorrow. And I don't know if I have anything else to do. I need to work out. <laughs> I need to work out. I need to do my 30 minutes. And to be honest, girl, I got it all night. Okay? I got it all night. I did take some time to do... Um, I'm making these little, these little things from my website, which... I want to show it to you guys on a separate video, but I'm also taking time, like, throughout this week, I haven't really been coming to pop in with you guys, because anytime I've spent in the front, it's been with Kennedy, and moreover, it's been with this stuff right here, because I wanted to finish it all before I do my full tour for the daycare thing. I also um, got my acceptance letter today for the daycare, so that's exciting. You guys know I decided to go listed instead of going registered because space, I don't want the pressure of moving, and I got a lot of stuff going on. Maybe this is the Lord's way of saying, girl, this is all you can handle, okay? So we're gonna take that and be grateful about it. Um, I have gotten a few inquiries already, um, but I don't have anyone signed up just yet. So again, I don't know what the Lord has on the horizon, okay? So I'm not going to... Look, he knows better than I do what's coming up, what I have going on. So I'm not going to rush that either. Um, just doing everything that I need to do. So I'm going to, like I said, finish up my stuff here at my desk, which is my Bible study. Um, I wanted to show you guys this. My husband for... I think when I came home for um, Holiday Block Leave, I actually showed you guys... I got this Bible for Christmas. It's like a little journal Bible. Like you can write on the sides. I don't know if you can see. But you can write on the sides here. And it's really like the text isn't too small. It is smaller than like my other Bible's text. But the text is small here and you can write on the side. I really, really, I'm loving this. So it's just something that I've been doing every night. I highly would suggest getting a Bible like this. I'm not going to show you like all my little, you know, journal points and things like that that's not why I'm doing this, right? That's not why I'm reading my Bible to come and show you me reading my Bible. I'm just not one of those people. So, um, and the devotional, I think I told you guys about it. You probably saw it maybe in the last video or at the beginning of this video. I have started reading my devotional every morning. I think I'm like 12 days in now, girl. Look at me, consistency, okay? Um, I have made up my mind that I'm going to be consistent in all of the areas that I would like to see change. You know what areas in your life you want to see change, okay? Like, I'm at some point of time, at some point tonight, I'm going to get over there and get on that bike. If it's for 10 minutes, if it's for 15 minutes, if I'm going to do five push-ups, if I do 10 push-ups, at some point of time tonight, I'm going to get it done. You know why? Because it's a part of the changes that I would like to see, Okay? And we're not complaining about things that we actually have the capability to change. It's stupid. It's I, I, I started to get on my nerves. You ever start to get on your nerves? You ever been sick and tired of complaining about something that you can actually change and you start to get on your own nerves? 
that was me i'm not going to keep doing that so changing changing and i hope you guys are um riding along for the change and not just riding along honey you're not just in the back seat looking at me changing in the front seat um you say hey i got a car i want to drive and you change too like i want you to evolve too um and another thing so we're going into a new month by the time you guys see this video we will be in a new month maybe i'll come in this video at some other some point like later on and talk a little bit more with you guys i'll probably end up doing something separate um august is going to be a beautiful month and september the rest of this year is going to be beautiful i'm just gonna say that i'm not even going to keep going but i will say this um as i was reading last night um i actually discovered that the new year like a biblical new year is actually in september and i'm wondering i have been wondering why i've been feeling just this it's a new horizon just something new like like august is about to come and really bring about new like that new thing that you've been waiting on and i'm so excited for it in my life i'm excited for you in your life especially if you stuck with me if all of july did you override did you do the thing that god had told us to do which was override which was walk over that girl stop complaining about that i have been doing it all month long and when i tell you it has already shown up in my life as fruit i'm so grateful I am so grateful. I'm so grateful. Okay, so let me get to doing this so that I can get up and clean and all that kind of good stuff. And I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Go grab my leg. I have these little colored Ziploc bags and I'm just gonna put all my little snacks in it for the week. I would suggest that you try something like this and whether for you or for the children, just prepare the snacks so it's kind of like grab and go. And it also helps with planning out the food. Like I know how much I need to buy. I know how much I have. Um, I tried out this idea for the week and it worked great. So I know, I know, I know. But I've been keeping some of these containers, like the empty jars and just containers that look like I could use them for other things, especially the big ones like this, because I actually couldn't find any more from the Dollar Tree for the blocks and stuff for the daycare. You can use these for everything. Now, I'm not going to keep every single jar, but I did keep a few for sauces and like little toys, little activities that I have for Kennedy. So after I'm done washing this out, I'm going to just make sure that the kitchen is reset and ready for the morning.
so I usually keep some mop water already ready to go but I need to make some more I mentioned this to you guys before it's the mr. clean downy unstoppables I love the scent but I will tell you it doesn't like last like I thought that it would um, the yellow one is also my favorite one and I like fabuloso as well but this one is not antibacterial so I'm gonna add some of the concentrated bleach and get to mopping this floor I do require that Kennedy picks up, like at least make sure all of the toys and stuff are in this vicinity. But I decided to go through and pick up the toys. I have also been getting better with making her pick up things. I realized that kids only do what you allow them to do. And I have been cleaning up a lot of kids' messes, you know what I mean? Like, oh, don't worry about that, I'll get it. And then you're drained and then you're tired. Baby, no, you gonna clean up this mess, okay? But today I was just putting, like I said, she's allowed to keep them like on the table in the general vicinity. I do not want food over there by the couch and other things. So this was good. I just went through, gave it a good sweep, a good clean, mopped the floor, and then I was done. So this morning I actually needed to prepare some activities. I didn't prepare them last night, but I actually woke up almost three hours earlier than I usually wake up. So I was able to set our activities this morning. This activity is actually available on my website and I'm just going to laminate it and just get the whole activity ready. Um, for our day, we're going, we didn't use this one today, but I did want to prepare it because I didn't want it like pending something that I had to do. So I set out our activity and then we're ready to start our day. Um, I actually turned off the lights in here and shut the front of the house back down because like I said I woke up way earlier than normal I just went in here to get everything ready and then I'm going to spend some time in my room doing my devotional um, reading just relaxing and I'm going to some water. So by lunchtime, we're completely done with our schooling for the day. She still gets to play centers later on in the day, but that's not something that I lead. I allow her to lead that. So I'm just going to go ahead and start preparing lunch. So because the refrigerator is bare bare, I'm going to make enough of this to last for the next few days. So it's going to be, you know, you can have it for lunch today, but you can have it for dinner tomorrow and then have our other meal for lunch. I like to alternate the meals and give options in that way. But this was also delicious. Um, I didn't have it, but they said they really liked it. And I did do a little something extra, girl. You don't see in a second. I did a little something extra for this spaghetti, but it was delicious. It's okay. Cutting up the broccoli with the scissors. 
so that when you're eating the spaghetti, you're not like eating on this big florette of broccoli. I know it's looking like a lot of seasoning, but it's not. I do not cook with salt at all. Salt is like the finishing, you know, after meal is done, you can sprinkle a little on the whole meal or you can just sprinkle it on your plate, but cooking with salt. Eh. So I'm gonna put a lot of everything on here because none of it is salt. You ever had noodles that was like really, really mushy? The reason why is because the noodles continue to cook if you don't cool them all the way down. I learned that trick in culinary school. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cool these noodles down so that I can continue the dish without having mushy spaghetti because that's disgusting. never tried this before but it was giving vodka pasta sauce baby um, I usually would use like regular whipped cream if I was cooking with it but I only had whipped whipped cream and I went ahead and mixed that in So because I just made lunch with dinner, I actually need to shut the kitchen down. Cleaning as I go so I don't have much to, to do. Um, but I wanna shut the kitchen down because all they need to do is heat up their meals now that I've cooked it. This is Kennedy's little helping in the kitchen chair. So I'm just gonna leave it right here and we're done. Say hello, Kylan, to the camera. You can't see him because it's blurry. Say hello, Kennedy. Hello, guys. We are headed to orientation. Aren't you excited, Kai? Very, very he's very excited. Okay, we're about to head out. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna shed no tears. Oh, I'm not gonna cry, it's not the time.
he is worth my tears, but I'm not gonna cry. Um, I just dropped my baby off. Hold on, let me get back to high school. I just dropped my baby off at school! It's not the first day of school, it's really just um, orientation. Um, like you get, you know, he's gonna get all his stuff for his program, know what he needs and all that kind of stuff. Remember I told you guys, it's a career high school. So they do things a bit different and yeah, I, I'm just, God is amazing. Y'all know, uh, my ninth grade year of high school, well, by the time I was in 10th grade, I was pregnant. So he, he's 14 right now. So when I was his age, I was pregnant with him. He'll be 15 at the end of the year. By the time I was 15, I had a baby. Okay, <laughs> look, actually, this time in 2008, I was pregnant. When he get ready to go to school, he would have been born. Look at God. Look at the hand of, look at, look at what the Lord has done, somebody. And every time I see him, every time I see his little face, I just get so excited, especially when he's doing something like, girl, not get on my nerves with that game. But even when he's doing like things in his room, just when he's just being him, I'm just so blessed. I'm blessed by his, his life blesses me. The Lord ever put you in a situation where the, the very thing you thought was going to take you on out of here, the very thing that everyone discounted you for, God just uses it to just bless you. He just blesses me. I'm so happy for him. I'm so grateful. Girl, let me get off his arcade and get a praise. But can't you, you, you see you see it coming on? I think I'm going to take Kennedy to the library. It looks like it's going to rain outside, but I'll have to check that out. Because, baby, we know it never rain, okay? It's not it's not springtime no more, and it don't be raining there or something like that. So we're going to see. You have to kick your feet. No. Watch, what is he like? Okay. You done with it? Yes. Okay. Girl, it was short lived. We were at the park out there. When I walked out there, the first thing I noticed was there was a gentleman sitting out there without any kids. I don't know when that's a thing. I just think it's weird. And that's not me even being like scared or anything like that. Cause baby, I got, I got what I got. Okay. Um, I just think it's weird for a grown man or a grown woman, however, whatever, to be sitting outside where children play without any children present. I think it's weird personally. Okay. Um, and then this backside of the park right here, it's very like secluded so much so that the people who go to the front side of the park, they don't even really know about it. So I don't. I don't necessarily, you know, I'm not going to be outside putting myself or her in harm's way, putting us in harm's way, let's say that, just to say, oh, I want her to play with friends at the park. If there are no friends out there, we really don't need to be just sitting out there, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, I'm about to actually go inside the library and see if that's a better interaction. Maybe. Maybe that'll be a better interaction. Oh, and I could get the um, schedule for this week of stuff to do at the library. That would be great. So, we're going to try this out because, like I said, it's sitting outside and it's hot. And here she is, huffing and puffing. And didn't bring not an ounce of water with her. And I didn't even make sure that she did. So, let me, girl, oh, I ain't going to hit your babies, girl. Let me do this little parallel party that I don't really know how to do. <laughs> Okay. All right, so here we're in the room of all rooms, which is my son's room. And I only say that because... Okay. So, um, like I showed you guys earlier, he's at the training. Oh, let me turn this around. Or not the training. He ain't at no training. He's at orientation. And I'm going to take this time to spruce up his room a little bit just because I like to do this, um, especially when school started. Because like I said, you never want to pass up on the opportunity to check on your children, see how they're doing, seeing what they're doing. Okay. You don't want to pass up on the opportunity and 
I'm no different. I don't pass up on the opportunity either. So um, I like to do it within the school year, but I also like to do it um, before the school year starts, just so you can have like that little clean slate, how I did Kennedy's room on the last video, I believe it was. I did a deep clean of her room. I went through, I sanitized everything, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to do the same thing to his room today. And then another thing that I also need to do, hold on, let me put you up here. Let me put you up here. Okay, I hope I'm tall enough. Um, so another thing that I also need to do is I, I showed you guys this last year. Um, I did a little checklist. Now, last year was the first year that I did this and I did not go over budget at all last year on school clothes. I'm a very, um, you know, I've changed my mindset over the years, most definitely. I used to be like, oh, it's school time. Let's get all new stuff. We, my son is very chill. Like he wears graphic tees and pants and he will wear old pants as long as the old pants fit, okay? Some of the pants, baby, I had to say, give them up. Okay, that's, that's how chill he is. He really doesn't care, honestly, he doesn't care. He likes his hoodies and things like that. He is like, he that stuff doesn't bother him. So his backpack, we're gonna order from Amazon because he has to have a mesh backpack. So I'm gonna take my backpack back, which is my back, my basic training backpack because his other other army backpack broke and that's his thing you know he like girl why is not standing up i don't know why it's not standing up. that's his thing he likes like army stuff which <laughs> you'll see here in a second when we get to clean up the room um so i'm gonna go through and make sure that the sizing on his clothes is right and then make sure he doesn't need any other sizes if you saw earlier in the video like homeboy is tall he probably is six foot at this point so even though the <laughs> the pants he had on, baby, looked like, you ever seen somebody with like a small waist and they have like maybe big thighs and they like tight, tight, tight their pants. So since he's so tall, he has to have his pants a certain size, but it doesn't always match up in the waist. So speaking of which, I need to make sure he has a belt in here. Is belts on here? Belts not on here. So I need to put belts because that's imperative, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through, do that, clean up, take inventory, and then head on out here. He's going to be home at four-ish, and it is 2.03, so I got a little time. Let's get it cleaning. So I looked down at these shoes, and I don't know, he just won't throw any away, so I took the honor of throwing them away for him, okay? Some of them, I just don't like the look of them. Some of them, I know that they're too small, and then others, uh, him and my husband, like, they share shoes. They have a shoe sharing thing going on. Girl, they wear the same size shoe. They both wear a size 14 shoe. How did it happen? How did my 14-year-old start wearing a 14? Like, how did that happen? And I, he's not done growing. Like, what's going on here? So I'm going to continue to clean up the room. Um, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. This is a hot mess. Today, I actually went in and throwing stuff, started throwing stuff away. I threw away papers. I threw away books. I just started cleaning it up, okay, because it was doing too much. Like I said, one of the tasks that I had today coming in his room was actually cleaning out his clothes, like making sure to see what fits. To my surprise, everything in here fits. I probably bought things a little bigger last time. And I'm doing some Goodwill shopping. I don't know about you, but uh, Goodwill is a good place to get clothes and stuff, okay? We take the old ones and then get the new ones that's how it goes here's my little chart that i told you guys about so i'm just writing down my findings on the chart writing down the pants size because i always have trouble remembering that and shirt sizes anything else like that that i would need so i don't usually go in throwing this much stuff away but i just made up in my mind that even if you think that you need it and i think that like the holy spirit reveals to me you don't need it i'm throwing it away and some of the family heirlooms that we've been holding on in our children's room some some of those things need to be in the trash okay because uh, what they're carrying what they're holding what they're standing for in your home actually needs to be destroyed so i went ahead and threw away a few of those things myself on today So I know, I said I wouldn't go buy anything else, but I do have one thing on my list to buy and I've been wanting for quite some time and that is the air filtration system for the home. I noticed that his room was extremely dusty. I thought it was just our room, but it's very dusty in here. And I did go through and dust everything, but I'm gonna have to get something to help me with that. So 
I wasn't gonna come and do this because I hate when people come cry on camera, myself included. Sometimes you just need to have a moment by yourself and I'm still in here cleaning up my son's room. And I want you to know how important it is to let your children know that they are important. Don't let the world and what's going on so much in your life make you forget that you have a duty to these children to make sure that they're okay, that they feel loved, that they feel seen, that they feel heard. And I understand sometimes that's hard to do for other people's children. Um, if you don't have any biological children of your own, like I always say, if you can't help, help. Um, but if you're the mother, I'm talking, let me talk to the mother. Baby, you got kids out here and you're so worried about your life and why things aren't going the way that you plan for them, Nicole, that you're forgetting about these kids, please. Just, they're not kids for very long. My son is, oh God. Like I told you guys earlier, my son is 14. He'll be 15 this year. And when they're younger, when they're Kennedy's age, and seemingly they're annoying, you know, they're, they they bother you. They don't let you get any of your rest because they always want to be in your face. Seemingly that's annoying. But really, it's a time to cultivate love and closeness and a bond that could truly last a lifetime. And even if you don't have that with your parents... You can. I want to tell you today that you can create that for your children. And as I'm cleaning out my son's room, I realize um, it's not that I was too late. But I did miss things. I miss things. I was so, um, so stuck in trying to grow up, so stuck in trying to live, and so stuck in... Getting away from the voices, the people that were telling me that I wouldn't ever be like I wasn't good enough to exist as who I am. That I missed out on some some valuable time. And that time never kids never forget that time of their life. What happens in those years are ingrained in the children. And by the grace of God, he will reveal, if you ask, baby, he will reveal, he will let you know where some of the issues that you see in your children's life come from. But you have to ask, you have to care enough, you need to get low enough, you need to get down in their life enough, you need to be selfless enough to ask God on their behalf. Because they grow up into adults and they don't see the issues themselves until sometimes it's too late. And with all of those tears out of the way, I was cleaning up, like I said, cleaning up my son's room. And he has a girlfriend. Um, and if you guys don't know, I haven't, um, his girlfriend, let me just say that. I ain't going to go into all his business. Okay, he has a girlfriend. And I just saw on his little, like he wrote it down, his girlfriend's favorite food, chicken, <laughs> chicken, bacon, Chinese food, and bacon. And I thought it was so cute um, to like... You know, for when I was his age, when I was his age, I thought about boys as like, they don't care about you. And some of them really don't. It really just depends on how their parents raised them, right? Some of them don't care about you. And the men tend definitely, they're very different than us. I will say that. Even my husband, as loving as, as he is, they're very different in the way that they think about people. The way that they think about relationships is different than us. So just to see like, he knows that something like this would be important for him to remember. So he would write it down. But just to be like, oh, you know, like us as women, we'll know, we'll know a Negro favorite food right now off the top of our head. And you ask them about our favorite food, they'd be like, uh, uh. For him to write it down, it just, it was so cute to me. Um, it's just you. The men that you see in your life, the ones sometimes that cause you like, the most hell. I mean, there is a man in your life that has brought you through hell. Can today, can we realize that that man was once a little boy that maybe, just maybe, no one took the time to tend to. No one took the time to tend to. Because I've shared with you guys before, uh, my son's biological father passed away when I was like 
23. I think when I was 23, um, we hadn't talked since I was like 18 or 19 since I left. Girl, go watch those story times. Um, then none of them are messy because I don't feel that it's appropriate to be messy, especially with such a topic. Um, but I, he was my first boyfriend and I wouldn't even call it dating. It was just kind of like, I was just enthralled. Like I didn't know, I didn't know that you could feel this kind of way about a boy. And now that I'm seeing him at the age that, that his dad was, his biological father was, I can call him dad. Cause, cause let me be honest, he never showed up as father. Like I'm being for real. Um, his his biological father was he he's the age now and just to see some of his um just some of the things that he does just the way that he behaves I'm like this was the same thing except it wasn't it wasn't loved it wasn't loved on you know this is the same thing except no one gave him a hug in that moment you know what I mean like this is the same thing except no one told him it's okay for you to feel like this is the same thing except that need wasn't met in this way so I'm really grateful to God for showing me how to meet the need and I want to tell you that I'm not special God can show you how to meet the needs of your children that's why he gave them to you okay so girl I'm not done cleaning up before I go into, I still got, like, it was easier to clean up Kennedy's room, I think, because I wasn't investigating as much. But I'm throwing away a lot of stuff, girl. I don't know if you remember his old table. It was a green one that I painted. I had like a long time ago. It was my first little furniture piece. And then I gave it to him and painted I painted it green and then I gave it to him. But this little table he has is actually easier to wipe off. And honey, you see exactly why the other table wouldn't gonna work. Like I said, this room was pretty dusty. Um, I dust the ceiling fans in my room and in, well, my room is the one that gets dust most frequently, but I have to make it um, a point to dust the rest of them more. So. Here is the complete room. It looks very clean, smells very clean. I love it. So our team order finally came in. This was um, the rest of the daycare stuff. Like I said, I'm not ordering anything else. This literally Thank took forever to come in. But it's finally here. Kennedy wanted to help me drive home. So girl, watch this. Let's get the road. Kennedy drove us here, y'all, so she's driving us back. Hold on, let's turn back on. Okay. Yeah, look at the road though. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 Oh. Stop. Oh, you have to turn. You see, you're so busy looking at yourself. Mm -hmm. You gotta look at the road. Roses. Look at the road. Oh. Okay. Keep it still. You gotta pay attention to the road. Okay. Go slow, cause she. You gonna turn to the right, okay? Okay. You gonna oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> no, no, no! You can't turn like that, Kennedy. You gonna hit somebody's car? Oh, sorry. I'm glad Mom. you know right from left, but my goodness, you worse than your brother. Remember, oh, y'all gotta hold this. Okay, and up here we're gonna turn to the left. left. Good. Right. Yep, good job. Okay. Okay. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. Good job. You're doing a great job, Kenny. Thank you. But you're not looking at the road. I'm not sure how. The road? Yeah, you gotta look at the road. Oh, this is the road. Let me see the road. Too heavy? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there only two colors? Uh-oh. 
Nah, don't push that. No, Katie. Sorry. Katie, no. Sorry, Mom. You can get one more color. Get one more color. Choose one more color. Want orange? Yes. So this was later on in the day. I wanted to show y'all this. So I showed her one nail. She couldn't figure out how to get the rhinestones on her nail. And I showed her if you lay some polish down and put the rhinestones on with the little placer that I have for my diamond dots painting, you can lay the rhinestones. Baby, look at her. Oh, oh, nail technician, okay. I buy the small nail polishes, like the little kill nail polishes, so they're actually easy for her to like control on her nail bed. But sis acting like she a whole nail technician out here. Look at the focus. Good morning. So I'm not sure where we are um, in the video, like in our day. You guys didn't get anything from yesterday, right? Yes, you did, because we painted yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday. What you just saw was yesterday. Today is today. So because this video is getting super duper long, I'm gonna go ahead and end it now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you are living intentionally. You're living your life on purpose. You're not letting the days just happen to you. That you're being strategic with the time that you have on this earth because that is important. So as always, if you have a question, ask a question and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.